Back in February of 2020, a friend of mine on a backpacking trip showed me how to stoke a fire with a tiny little air pump. I thought it was pretty cool that he could do that, but I was more interested in how that air pump could fill up a sleeping pad because that's its intended use. So when he showed me how to fill up a sleeping pad, I was very intrigued. The tiny little air pump was made by a company called Thermarest. If you are at all a camper or a backpacker, you've heard of Thermarest, but one big problem happened with Thermarest. A couple months after that backpacking trip, I decided that I was gonna pick up one of these little air pumps. So I went online and looked for one. But what I noticed was is that Thermarest had changed the valve system on their sleeping pad from the typical valve that they had used to a new wing lock system that this pump no longer fit. And the biggest problem is they hadn't made a pump to fit this wing lock system. So I decided to jump onto Amazon to see if there was any other company that was making a tiny little air pump that would fit my Thermarest pad. And I came across a company called Flextail Gear. If you watch my channel, you know that I love this thing and I've talked about it countless times on this channel. Flextail, Flextail, Flextail Gear, Flextail. So finally, Thermarest did release a pump and it is an updated pump that fits the wing lock system for their pads, but it has two huge problems. One, it only fits the wing lock system for Thermarest pads. And the other problem is, is that it takes AAA batteries. So you have to replace the batteries inside the pump as they die. So fast forward to today, Flextail now has another pump and they reached out to me and said, Dan, we would love to finally sponsor a video. Flextail, thank you for sponsoring this video. Now, if you are concerned that somehow I'm going to only talk about the good things about this pump because Flextail is sponsoring this video, let me assure you that I am not only gonna talk about the good stuff about this pump, I'm gonna tell you everything honestly about this pump. So here it is, this is the update to the pump. This is the Zero Pump 1.2 ounce. This is the, uh, according to them, the lightest, smallest air pump in the world and we're gonna unbox it real quick, walk you through the features and tell you what I think about this pump. Should you be buying it? If you own an old one, should you be upgrading? Or if you don't own a pump, should you be buying this one? So let me open it up real quick here. There we go, oh, we got it. This is a pre-production model and they did warn me that uh, the packaging was a little tight, so. <laughs> Look at that. They've even got the uh, different pumps over the years. It comes with a little bit of a direction here. There's three steps. Basically, you're gonna pick a nozzle, you're gonna connect it to the sleeping pad, and then you're gonna double click to turn on the pump. There is one feature about this pump that to me is like, yes, I am 100% upgrading and I am done using the other pump, specifically because this pump does something better than any of their other pumps. They sent me these 3D printed nozzles to put on the pump to fit a bunch of different pads. You got Climate, you got Nemo, you have Thermarest, you have X-Pad, and then you also have uh, Flextail's own sleeping pads that this is gonna fit. The old pump came with these nozzles. <laughs> and if you're a user of the Flextail pump right now, you'll know that these nozzles, they work and they will fill up your sleeping pad just fine, but you have to hold the pump onto the sleeping pad the entire time it's filling up. It gets awkward because you're having to lean inside of your tent, bend over and get into weird positions and not sit on the sleeping pad while it's filling up. But the best part about this pump and the biggest reason that I would upgrade is when you attach this little nozzle here, this little attachment here to fit into a sleeping pad, it actually fits into the sleeping pad and you can leave it there. You can walk away and it will stay with a complete tight fit and fill up the sleeping pad. <laughs> so all you do is stick it into the sleeping pad, turn it on, come back about a minute and a half or two minutes later and it is completely filled up. Or once you hear that noise where you know that the pump is filled up the pad because it starts to get that high pitched, hey, I'm full noise and then you take it out and you're done. Now, are you wondering if the battery is going to last? How long the battery is going to last? Flextail says that this pump will be able to fill up to 20 sleeping pads before it runs out. Now, I recently took the Zero Pump on a backpacking trip to the Wind River Range over four nights. I can just tell you that I filled up about six sleeping pads over the four nights that I was there, and it still has a charge. 
It's got a little double click function to turn it on so that way it doesn't turn on super easily inside of your pack. I did have it turn on one time as I was packing up my bag but I was kind of going bang, bang, bang to try to get stuff in the pad and I think I must have double clicked it doing that. So it did turn on. I just quickly went into my backpack, turned it off. You'll know it's on because you'll hear it, not like a headlamp where you don't know it's on when it's inside of your backpack and then the headlamp is dead because it was on the entire time you were hiking. Another advantage of this pump is that it's really quiet. A lot of hikers complain about how loud these air pumps are, but this one is much quieter than the other previous versions. How much does this thing weigh? They say 1.2 ounces. All right, let's weigh it without the battery, without the nozzle, because that's what the claim of 1.2 ounces comes at. We're gonna do by grams, because my scale doesn't give me increments in ounces very specifically. We got 33 grams. Alexa, how many ounces is 33 grams? 33 grams is about 1.16 ounces. Okay, all right, 1.16 ounces. If we add this, we add a battery. 59 grams is about 2.08 ounces. All right, so little over two ounces all in, and that is an upgrade from this bad boy. This is the Tiny Pump 2X, 109 grams. 109 grams is about 3.84 ounces. Okay, so we're looking at almost four ounces, so half the weight, definitely half the size. Now let me get to one minor thing that I don't like about this pump. There's no external port to charge the pump. So in order to charge the pump, uh, and this is a pre-production model, you take off the top here, like you would a little flashlight. You could pull out the battery. It's gonna come with a battery that's gonna have a USB-C port built into the battery. So you will be able to charge the pump that way. So it is going to have a rechargeable function. It's just, you gotta kind of take it apart to do that, which isn't that big of a deal. Uh, because the pump is the size that it is. The biggest downsize is you are losing a light and you're also losing the ability to externally charge the battery on the inside. But you can leave this attached to your sleeping pad. It is much smaller, much lighter, and honestly, I think it's pretty cool. The problem that it solves is quite a few things. It solves not having to blow up the pad after a ridiculously long day. And it also solves the problem of blowing moisture out of your own breath into the pad, which can reduce our value and cause mold inside of your pad. So should you be upgrading to this Flextail Zero pump? If you already own a Flextail pump, that's obviously up to you. If you wanna pick up one of these, I will put a link in the description below. The cost is $29, excluding a rechargeable battery or $36 that will include a rechargeable battery with the USB-C charging port. If you don't own a pump and you're looking for one, 100%, this is the one I would be buying. This thing is uh, pretty awesome. So, Thermarest, you missed an opportunity, and now some other company's making way better pumps than you for your pads. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, also subscribe for more, hit the bell notification so that I can send you a video every time it's released. We will see you on the next one.